Cough, cough. Hello, this is Sierra, and welcome to another video. Today we're doing another video inside of Hermitcraft, see the clockwork. And, yeah, let's get right to it. I basically figured out some of the storage problems, so why not? Having a trouble, if you can tell, it's been an hour since I read the last one because I have storage issues and having trouble uploading it. It's fine. It's fine. And now the storage is fine. What did I do? I deleted YouTube and reinstalled it. <laughs> I did not want to delete Minecraft, so I re de deleted YouTube and reinstalled it. For now, seems to be going well. <laughs> Sometimes it's simple as the options. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. You want to hear a story? We're in chapter episode thirty-six, chapter five, correct? Now why not get into it? <laughs> <laughs> a few weeks have passed since Green had managed to escape Mr. A, having fully recovered and heard in accounts of his friends' first attempts to get Mr. A's men out of the world. They had discovered and taken over three of the secret hiding places so far, and the cause had helped them to find that the cause were far the cause had helped them find using redstone weaponry and force to chase them out. So far, each of them were fairly successful. While also making each attempt far riskier than the last, the men were certainly catching on, which meant it would be difficult for the hermits to spring a surprise attack on them. He was proud of his friends stepping up to try and do something about this threat, rather than just sitting back anxiously waiting for the men to strike. Especially for Impulse, who had led some of the attacks the best he could. So, whenever Green would, would mention it, he'd deny it, tell it was all Green. <laughs> Maybe not the best subjects. <laughs> Kane had finally managed to feel well enough to return to his base, wandering around the halls as he checked on some of the traps that were lying in wait. <laughs> Whatever he might need them. He had a little help from Mumbo, whose little tricks and with these little tricks in the hopes of slowing down anyone might who might be pursuing him. So far, though, everything seemed to be fine. He couldn't believe just how far things had come as he finished his round doing during the, down the hallway, coming back towards the stairway, knowing its escort was still somewhere in or around the house. Sorry for the sniffles. It was a strange thing about the cause, not always knowing where they were at all times. Suppose there were benefits to this, still. It would be more comforting to know where they were in case something did happen. That wasn't his choice to make, though. The YouTuber arrived at the stairs as he grabbed onto his, the railing, climbing down just as he heard a knock on the door. At the front at the front of the house, he quickened his pace, slipping, skipping a step as he bounded down the stairs and over to the door as he opened it, revealing the pole's waiting room. He seemed ready for an adventure, the YouTuber mused. Sure, he'd been taking three of the secret bases down already. This is getting exciting. Green admitted with a smile. How many or more are left now? At least a couple from what some of the backup cause members could find. We we're going to try to take them down today. Paul said thoughtfully. We're trying to be a more, bit more cautious this time. Since there have been reports that the men might be waiting for us. Do you think we should still do this? Green asked as he tilted his head. The last one was pretty rough. Everyone made it out alright. So all I'd say it should be fine. The man reported confidently. We just need to be careful. Okay, Green nodded. <laughs> Looking back to see his escort waiting in the hallway silently. You ready to go? Sure, it's a smart move, the man admitted. But I'm not going to leave you to fend for yourself either. We'll see what we can do to shake things up in the way, Green replied. As he looked over to the other YouTuber, who nodded. I'm sorry about the sniffles. He dawned on his new wings as he stepped out onto the, into the sunlight, the cool air ruffling around him as he took out some fireworks. He was ready for this. He'd been waiting to see this happen for weeks. They were finally going to finish this. Well, at least make it clear that they weren't about to let these men stay here. <clears throat> he launched himself into the sky, followed by Impulse, with their two escorts not too far behind. 
The air grew chillier and they drew higher until they were high above the tree, which looked like fields of broccoli from below. <laughs> they glided for what felt like hours, when it was more like min five minutes, until they landed on a clear in a clearing, just shy of a hidden base. Which, it didn't seem to have a lot of mysterious men moving around at the outside. Once they were all landed safely, began to head towards the base, Impulse started to explain their plan. We split the group in half and focused on the last two bases with some more plans. Impulse explained, I'm going to let a couple of us sneak in and set up some traps aside while the rest of us hold distractions. A distraction. Then blow up the base and force them to retreat back to the base's signified portal. So the group is smaller than the last few times, Green asked them early. You should be fine, Impulse confirmed. The YouTuber led them to the rest of the group, which was contrived. Is that the right word? Let me know. <laughs> Bumbo, Tango, and V-Dubs, as the three of them greeted them happily. Did I even spell it right? <laughs> what say you? That's fine. The other group already got started and set up the traps. You be dubbed reported to the newcomers. They're confident that they have this base, the base four. So it's up to us now, Impulse replied. Yep. Tango confirmed with a nod. Be dubs and Mumbo. Now might be a good time to work on the traps. You got it, B dubs said happily as he pulled out a splash potion and Mumbo ran over to him. Ran over to him and they splashed themselves, disappearing from view as the bubble particles bounced around a little bit before disappearing off to the base. Green, do you want to help me with this? Impulse asked, redirecting the YouTuber's attention as he realized he'd been staring at the base for who knew how long. As he nodded, going over to Impulse as they built up a wall structure to protect themselves in case there were any projectiles. <clears throat> Three minutes passed as they finished the few structures they needed just as Impulse's communicator came to life, and he took it out and smiled. Good news? Green guessed. Very good news. Fourth base down. Everyone got out safely, he reported. Good. Tango said eagerly. Thing is, though, Impulse added. There were no men inside. Good, right? Green asked nervously, his excitement dying down as he looked back over the base, just in time to see Bumbo and, and B-dubs appearing out of thin air, right in the clearing. He could see some of Mr. A's men in the distance, pointing. As if they'd seen the two YouTubers, Green shouted for them to come. He watched as they both began to run as he hid behind one of the structures. His explosions rocked earth underneath him, tearing apart anything in his path as he heard faint screaming and yells of surprise and pain. Screams and yells soon died down as he heard something else instead. It sounded like a little roar, a rumbling of footsteps. Oh no, they both said as he crouched down next to him. Oh no, why? Green as he looked over to the man, into the man's dark brown eyes. There's about a few dozen of men right, coming right for us, the giver whispered, just as he heard four explosions and shot it. You can handle it, right? Green asked as he peeked over, seeing that, sure enough, Around 30 to 40 men are coming towards them. Far more than he'd expected from the last one. They didn't seem terrified or frightened. Rather, intentionally running for them. We need to go. We need to retreat. We can't just give up now, Post insisted. We need to get out of here, Green repeated firmly, staring back at his friend. This is a trap. Realization hit the other YouTuber as he nodded. Shouting over from the other group, as he stood, Green got to his feet as well as they both began to run back to the woods. Just as he heard glass shattering as he glanced back, the men had managed to get over the structures and were heading right for them. Run! And both shouted as they all ran harder, disappearing into the trees. The YouTuber lost sight of his friends, hearing the men still chasing as he grabbed his rockets and flew into the trees, landing gracefully as he pulled out his bow and some arrows, shooting at the men a few times to hopefully scare them enough to back off before launching himself back to the sky. Green flew over the trees on the lookout for anyone who might need help when he heard an explosion and a shout from not too far away as he glided over to where the war zone was, seeing a good portion of the men lying on the ground unconscious, where many of them disappeared with a puff of smoke. Sitting in the middle of it all, someone <laughs> obsidian. Green, over here, 
Mumbo's voice called as the YouTuber looked over. Jesus's friend launched himself into the YouTuber's level onto the YouTube. Ugh! Launched him. Look, looked up. No, 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 launched himself up to the YouTuber's level. Level. I really messed up that sentence. <laughs> I had a feeling you had a part in that. Crane admitted with a smile. So Mumbo chuckled. He slowly faded and he looked around. Where is Impulse Beat of the Tango? And all of their es our escorts? I don't know. I lost sight of them during the chaos. Momo admitted with a sigh. We could try to look for them. Yeah, Green agreed. Let's stick together, though. The last thing I want is for the men to pick us off one by one. Let's not waste time. Momo replied with a nod. As he launched himself into the air, as Green did the same. Gliding higher into the sky, they searched the forest in search of their friends. No more than two minutes had passed before they heard a scream about a few dozen meters away. The screen instinctively dove towards that direction, gaining speed before gliding gracefully under the treetops. Just as she heard an explosion from below that nearly knocked him off his feet. Out of the tree. <laughs> Out of the tree. Down below, Green could see three of the escorts shielding a couple of figures which he recognized to be Impulse and Tango, both who seemed fine at first glance as he looked around the few holes in the ground around the area. All the escorts had their swords extended, and Green could see Blake amongst them as half a dozen men approached them as Green pulled out his bow. Do you think I could set up a crystal behind them without them noticing? Bumpo whispered quietly over at Green to Green, making the YouTuber jump a little. She think you should kind of, maybe. Green nodded, and the other YouTuber smiled, gliding down from the behind the men as he placed an obsidian block as well as carefully placing an in crystal as, on the pedestal, just as Green saw something below that neither of them had seen before. before. Mumbo, watch out! Green cried, giving his friend away as the YouTuber launched into the air as Green shot the crystal, creating an explosion as he heard more rockets. Seeing his friend's and the escorts had managed to escape the blast range just in time. He could see damage below, as many of his mysterious men had dealt some fate. The same fate as the others he'd seen earlier. All apart from two figures, he realized not everyone had gotten out of the radius in time. Mumbo! Grand wait! Blake warned as the YouTuber jumped down to the area below, gliding over the crater that he had been left behind. That had been left behind as he ran over to his friend. Barely noticing the man standing not too far away. He ran over to his friend, kneeling down, and he shook his friend awake. He groaned. His audible sigh of relief received his lips as his friend opened his eyes. Okay, Bubba said weakly as he coughed, trying to sit up before falling back down. I'll be okay. I wouldn't be so sure certain of that. A familiar voice said coldly. What are you doing here? Green asked, turning his head quickly to face the man standing before him. The man seemed to have been better, seen better days, perhaps having just barely missed the blast radius. Oh, it should be pretty obvious why I'm here, the man said calmly, just as the other landed down to meet them, surrounding Mumbo and Green in a protective shield. The man smiled at the sight. <laughs> this is interesting. What do you want, Mr. A? Blake asked in a warning tone. His sword was extended as he glared at the man. I've been hearing reports of your fellow friends trying to push my men out. I wanted to see if I could do something about it and see what you what was going on, the men said slowly. I'm not surprised to see, see our little hermit friends being involved. We're not going to let you get to us anymore without a fight, Impulse said defiantly as he lifted up his chin. I see that, the man nodded. Yet you forget just how many of my how many friends I have. You know that you can't keep up forever. We will eventually win, the man chuckled as he added darkly. We always do. Where are your friends now? Tango demanded, his red eyes sparking with an anger that could not be rivaled. Rage. I wonder if he has a rage quest, though. <laughs> the man chuckled. You'll see. Green swallowed as the man stood there as he heard Mumbo groaning again from beside him as he looked down to meet eyes with his friend. He's just about seeing a man's weak smile from under his mustache. <laughs> the blast certainly had taken quite a toll out of him. Ooh. Well, we're not here right now, when it is, Scorch replied. You're on your own and outnumbered. Come for any of us and we will attack. Oh, I'm not here to fight today, the man said innocently. He raised up his hand. I'm here to give you a warning. 
Try and resist us, and we will make sure you regret it. You ought to find us first, Hippolyte shouted confidently. Ho, 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 that will be hard. Don't you worry, the man said with an ominous smile. He turned his back to the group, walking into the darkness of the trees, disappearing from view. Are we safe now? Beat up asked wearily, as Green looked over, not noticing he'd arrived. Somehow, he must have found his way back to the others and joined them. Yeah, I totally didn't forget about him. <laughs> oh, no. For now, what did the escort said. <laughs> he didn't sound so confident by that statement. As everyone turned toward Gran and Mumbo, the younger YouTuber, trying his best to keep his friends still. Do you mind if I can if I help? Blake, Blake asked him calmly. Can you? Green asked with uncertainty. But scooted back so that the escort could take a spot. Part of Liam's training was healing. Blake explained calmly. He felt that just protecting someone with a weapon wasn't enough. To sometimes, most times. Saving someone's life requires a bit of skill. Potions and such. Told you. I'm fine. <laughs> Mumbo insisted weakly. As the escort took out a medical box. As he pulled out a potion in it. Helping the YouTuber take it gently. You might feel fine, Blake assured him. It doesn't mean you are, though. <laughs> Green watched as Mumbo sighed, closing his eyes for a moment as the color began to return to his face before opening them again. This time managing to sit up. Less pain than before. We shouldn't stick around here for long, one of the escorts warned me morally, especially not at night. Can you walk? Green asked his friend quietly, as everyone else was not in agreement. I think I can walk on my own, Mumbo said with a smile, as Green stood. Hold it got his hand. Sven took it, and he got to his feet. I'm so sorry, Green admitted, as everyone else was preparing to go to their supper with. It's not your fault, Mumbo said reassuringly, as he put a hand over his, on his shoulder. You did exactly what you needed to do. I just didn't get away fast enough. We still got this. If anything, the blame should be on me, Paul admitted, cutting in. I was so sure we had this. I couldn't have anticipated the men would ambush us like that. Green nodded, he said slowly. No one could have. Unless most of us got out of this, all right. All right, right? Mumbo insisted carefully. Oh, no. Green agreed. No one said anything. More as they um, said their goodbyes and flew back toward their bases with their respective escorts. Green knewing, no, no, knew, what, knewing? What even is that word? knew he should feel grateful for getting out of that situation successfully. That none of his friends had been captured, sure, had it been perfect. And the fact that Mumbo had nearly died due to the anti-crystal trap wasn't helping much. But they were all alive. Alive for another day. Wasn't that a good thing? Why did it feel like a temporary victory, though? He could still hear Mumbo's mystery's, blah, 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 mystery's words floating into his mind, clinging in every thought, every chance got. Wasn't over. It was far from over. What exactly would the man try to do next? Uh. <sighs> I'm not going to kill off another best friend character just yet. <laughs> just so you know. Not after Squid. Poor Squid. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.